the baby D-bomb is here. The D-bomb, which is the four and a half inch big flipping bait, it's caught big fish all over the country, has now got the smaller sibling. This baby D-bomb is something that you can use to fish a variety of situations, not just the flipping and the pitching and the punching the heavy mats. You can do all that in a smaller profile, but you can also put it on a shaky head, put it on the back of a finesse jig or even a regular football jig. Uh, definitely a little bit more versatile bait, smaller bait, so it's gonna be uh, definitely something for numbers of fish and for big fish. It's got the same soft ribbed body that the D-Bomb has, and it's got the really thin pinchers just like the D-Bomb, but in a little bit smaller compact profile and a little smaller package. So here's the baby D-Bomb. Watch out, here it comes. This is the D-Bomb. Now this is a man size, bulky flipping bait. And as you can see, it's got ribs on the side. It's got a big, thick head on it that's solid so you can get a good, big hook in it. And it's got very thin, big flappers on the back. Now these, these flappers on the back, they sail when, you, when it goes down slow, but when you pump the bait and fish it faster, they have uh, all kind of undulating, you know, flapping action. It's just, it's really wild. It's really cool to see underwater. So, I mean, this is a bigger profile bait that's, you know, perfectly designed for a big hook. The, uh, the middle part of the, the bait comes down a little bit thinner down here where you're gonna be setting the hook. So you're gonna get really, really positive hook sets on this bait. When we were testing it, we were having tremendous hookups because this bait really collapses and that hook really pushes through so you get really good hook sets with this uh, D-Bomb. So the underwater footage is cool. Check this out real quick.
Here is the Fuse 4.4. It's a 4.4 inch finesse crawl worm, completely unique from anything out there on the market. Now this bait was mainly designed for shaky head fishing, but there's other applications like Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, and also drop shotting. Now this thing has a uh, solid head on the front, so whether you're drop shotting, Texas rigging, or putting it on a shaky head, you're gonna get a solid portion uh, to, to have a fin smaller finesse worm. You don't have to bite the tip of this worm off. You can just fish it just like it is. It's ready to be rigged. And then the middle part where the hook goes through, that part is a little bit thinner. So that's been one of my gripes with, with a lot of finesse worms out there is right where the hook goes through, that's the thickest part of the worm. That should be one of the thinner parts where that hook goes through. So it's plenty enough beef to keep the hook in there, but it's uh, thin enough to where when you, when you lean back and you need to set that hook, you got them because it's a little bit thinner portion. Uh, and then the, the arms on the claws are real thin. So anytime you barely move that bait, you're gonna get a little natural action with those uh, craw claws. So this is gonna be my go-to finesse worm from now on and I think you might like it. There he is. Get in here. A little bit of fuse and warlock action right there. The first cast in that shady area. There he is. Oh yes. Good fish. Woo! Pulling some drag. Look at that. He's got that fuse all the way down in his mouth. Eating the fuse right there, baby. Yeah, we got high pressure out here, and, uh, and we just had a little bit of wind start. Been throwing the shaky head some, and I uh, hadn't had any bites, and just just picked up the uh, the fuse with the uh, on a drop shot, and picked up picked up a nice fish. So, you know, whenever, anytime you get high pressure like that, you may want to may want to look to go into a drop shot. You can pick up a few more fish. wanted that warlock with the big fuse on the back. <laughs> 